A home's ability to control the movement of heat both into and out of the house is called the thermal envelope. Heat always moves toward colder air and the thermal envelope acts as an insulating barrier. An efficient thermal envelope prevents warm air from escaping in the winter and coming into your home in the summer. Let's further evaluate the home's thermal envelope. I'm here with Sunny and we're going to talk about attic insulation. Thank you. 80% of a home's heat gain and heat loss comes in through the attic. A minimum of R30 is required to, for your attic space to be efficient. There are different types of materials that are used to insulate the attic space and depending on what type of insulation is used, that is how you determine how many inches of insulation are required to gain that R30 value. Also important is floor insulation, which is usually consisted of fiberglass batting installed between the joists and the floorboards. Attic temperatures in the summertime can reach in excess of 200 degrees, so ventilation is also very important. You don't want that 200 degree air heating your conditioned space underneath. Walls are a different story. It is usually not cost efficient to go back in and add insulation into walls. You never get your cost back. If you have pull down stairs that lead into the living space of your home, chances are very good that unconditioned air is filtering into your home. An insulated hatch cover that installs inside the attic above the staircase can mean measurable savings in your energy bill. If you have an attic fan, you can take further measures to reduce heat transfer into the attic by placing a layer of insulation over a whole house fan when it's not in use. Doors and windows also have a strong impact on your home's thermal envelope. If you have an older home, chances are you have single pane windows. Single pane can be one sheet of glass or several smaller panes and they might not be energy efficient. You have several options. One thing you can do is install storm windows on the outside, making the existing window more energy efficient. Or you can replace them entirely with more energy efficient double pane windows, perhaps with a low E glass. Low emissivity glass has two panes with an inner gas in between, reducing the heat transfer from the outside in and the inside out. Now, the cost in doing that is such that these windows will pay for themselves. It will take a while, but down the road, it's going to make your home much more comfortable on the inside. It's going to reduce drafts, and if you ever decide to sell your house, high energy efficient windows are a big selling point. Check around the door to make sure that the seals are all okay. If there's light coming in, then so is air, and you'll need to put weather stripping in place. If the existing seal or weather stripping is damaged, then replace that. Also, check around your doors and windows for cracks and be sure to caulk them properly. There are plenty of other low-cost ways of improving your home's thermal envelope. Check walls by looking behind your light switch and electrical outlet covers. If you see gaps, you can install foam gaskets like this one behind the covers. Now here's something very simple that you can do to save energy and money on your electric bills. Change out the light bulbs. Now this lamp has a standard incandescent bulb in it. Replace the incandescent with a fluorescent. The manufacturer has made these bulbs so that they fit just about any fixture. And a couple of the good things about these bulbs is that they burn one-fourth the energy of an incandescent bulb. Plus, they last about 10 times longer than an incandescent bulb. Recess lighting can be a big consumer of kilowatt hours. Oftentimes, there are many bulbs and they can be outfitted with high wattage bulbs. Something to look out for. You know, the way you use energy every day around the house will help you save money and save energy. Simple things like closing your exterior doors to keep the heat or cool in or out where it belongs. Try to do your laundry in cold water. All of these things are very simple and very inexpensive. Try to run the dryer and the dishwasher with full loads. 
Don't preheat your oven unless it's called for in the recipe. Other tips include use the air dry setting on your dishwasher, cover spas and hot tubs, and run the pool pump a minimum time to achieve desired results. Oh, by the way, if you're not using the lights, turn them off. The U.S. Department of Energy's Energy Guide label helps you to compare the estimated energy consumption and yearly operating costs for different brands and models. Also, the Department of Energy's Energy Star program identifies the most energy efficient products. Just look for the Energy Star label. Now, like many families, you may have an extra refrigerator or freezer in the basement or in the garage to store extra food or something as simple as storing ice in the freezer. Understand that if you have that extra appliance, it might cost you as much as $200 or more a year on your energy bill. So here's a couple of tips for you. In the case of a freezer like this one, which is down here in the basement, try to keep your freezer full of food or at least partially full of food so the freezer doesn't have to work as hard to maintain a constant temperature. If you don't keep food in there, at least keep several bags of ice in there and it's going to run more efficiently. With a refrigerator, same type of thing. Keep it full of food, or if it's not full of food, fill it full of bottles of water, and it too will run more efficiently. I hope this video has given you some valuable insight into tightening your home's thermal envelope and how a few good habits can truly add up to real savings on your energy bills. So remember, your EMC is your partner in helping you use energy more wisely. Now, if you have any questions about anything you've seen here, of course you can visit your EMC's nearest office or go to their website. Your EMC not only provides the energy for you, they help you use it more efficiently. And that, my friend, is going to save you some money in the long run.